What is going on guys and girls, Level Up here at On Point Tactical, and welcome to another episode of Loadout. This is the video series where you go down to the comments box below or send me a private message and tell me what setup you like to run on the battlefield, the weapons and attachments you like to run, the classes, the equipment, and the perk trees that you like to run, and I will use that very same setup and then give you my ever so humble opinion on it. Today's loadout comes from The Working Dead, and he sends me a private message and says, Use the M4 carbine on the engineer class with the Cobra Red Dot sight, the laser sight, the angled foregrip, and the suppressor. Now, I would totally agree with this setup on the M4. We're going to go through the loadout in order and knock out things in, in order as well. And we're going to start with the M4 and the Cobra Red Dot sight. Now, as most of you know, I usually just adore the Cobra sight. I think it's a fantastic red dot sight. Uh, well, it's not really even a red dot. It's more of an appropriately called reflex sight. It's a fantastic reflex sight, and it gets the job done on a lot of weapons. But on the M4, and I think it's because the, the, the front sight post is so close to the red dot, it sort of hides the actual reticle and makes it a little bit harder to track than it is on, say, an M16A4. Now, with that being said, I, I think that my favorite red dot or reflex on the M4 is the actual American red dot reflex sight. Uh, it has a bit of a bigger dot than the, than the uh, Coyote sight, because if you're like me, you every once in a while lose the Coyote's reticle because it's so small in fire or in incendiary grenades and sometimes just in firefights in general it can be very easy to lose that very small dot when compared to the reflex and the cobra sight so i would say that the cobra sight is while well, it's a fantastic sight and if you're trying to use the same sight on every gun i totally get where your head's at but if you're gonna be using the m4 as your weapon most of the time i would say try out the reflex sight and see what you think now the laser sight, uh, as you know, increases your hipfire accuracy. Well, the thing is, is that the M4's hipfire accuracy is far from fantastic to start with, and I would say that the minuses outweigh the pluses in this case, because you're not going to get fantastic hipfire accuracy out of it with a laser sight, and the laser sight's just going to give your position away to half of the planet. So I would say run with something like a flashlight and turn it on and off manually and in, in extreme close quarters you can turn that flashlight on to get yourself a bit of an advantage as this is a burst weapon you're going to need a little bit of help in close quarters so that, I would say that that would be the equipment I would run on that accessory slot now the suppressor I totally agree with your mentality of trying to stay off the minimap but again the laser sight sort of contradicts that so if you take the laser sight off the suppressor is a fantastic attachment on the M4. Now, it is going to hurt your hipfire even further to run the suppressor, but we're not really worried about the hipfire accuracy of the M4. And I would say that the only drawback to the suppressor is obviously the range disadvantage that you get. And seeing as to how the M4 has a carbine damage model, it's very easy to start to suffer from that 15% damage at long range. Uh, and really just want to slap yourself for using a carbine. Now that, that range comes up much faster than you might think it does and the best way I would say to combat that would be to just don't shoot at long range targets. Even if they're engaging you, close the gap on them or wait for them to close the gap on you. Don't waste all your bullets trying to pull off a long range engagement. So I would say that the suppressor is a wise choice and an excellent decision to make whenever we're talking about putting it on a carbine. The angled foregrip is the only foregrip that you're going to want to run on a burst weapon right now. The first shot recoil multiplier is 2.5 on the M4, which is ridiculous. It, it kicks like a mule every third shot because it isn't a first shot multiplier on three round burst weapons as a third shot multiplier per se. So you, you do get some advantages to where you can tap fire it and get it to shoot almost automatic and sort of see that same kind of recoil, but I'm not going to say that it is a fantastic choice still, even though it is going to help you combat that recoil, simply because if you run an ergo or a vertical grip, you can get that same hip fire advantage that you lost before and also get an advantage to your ADS spread while strafing. 
Now the 93R handgun is an amazing sidearm. I absolutely love this secondary. I would probably have more kills with it than any other sidearm in the game right now, except for maybe the 1911. Uh, it, if you tap fire it, it shoots kind of like a G18 if you tap it really fast if you spam the trigger. But if you space it out, it honestly isn't too bad at medium range. Now I know it's not anywhere near as accurate as, as the M4 is, but it isn't, it isn't too bad at, say, 20 yards or so. You can still kill a person with it. Now you, ran, you told me to run the Ghost Ring and the Laser Sight both of which are great attachments, but I would say opt out for a micro red dot if you get it unlocked on the 93R. It's gonna make your life just a little bit easier for indexing targets. Now you've probably seen me use it already, but you told me to run with the SMA as well. I think that the SMA is a fantastic rocket launcher simply because it doesn't have near as much drop as say an RPG or a MBT law. Now I don't think that it's the best rocket launcher. I would say that the SRAW and the RPG are still better. Now the RPG is kind of a crapshoot, it's not that accurate, but it does massive damage to armored targets. So the small, while it is a fantastic launcher for being accurate at longer ranges and trying to snipe helicopters out of the sky, if you practice up you can be just as effective at these ranges and in, and in these situations with the RPG. So I would say overall that that would be a smarter choice to run with, but if you don't have it unlocked yet, the small is a fantastic rocket launcher. As far as running the repair tool, I didn't repair hardly anything because our team was getting their vehicles decimated immediately on this game of Zavod. However, I did re repair torch a couple vehicles, as you saw, and it is fun. It is just absolutely hilarious every once in a while, running around and then blowing up a tank with a little repair torch. It's just, it's just, it's just a good time. It's not all that effective, but it's certainly fun to see. Uh, just a, a little torch just take down a 70 ton tank, but uh, that's totally off to the side I would say that that is just something fun to do, but uh, overall I would say that you would, would be Slightly better off running with say M2 slams or the M15 AT mines So long as your team's armor wasn't making it very far anyway if your team's armor is making it But they still need a little bit of help then run with the repair tool and you're gonna get yourself a ton of points now, overall, I would say that this is one of the better loadouts that I've used in Battlefield 4. Like I said, I'm not crazy about the Cobra side on the M4, but that's just a little pet PV type thing. I'm not crazy about the Ghost Ring on the 93 and I'm not crazy about the small. But all together, it does make quite the effective engineer loadout. Would I say that I would recommend this loadout? I can't quite go that far. I would say you would be better off running an SG-553 perhaps, maybe an ACWR or an AK-5C. AK-5 is a fantastic carbine, low recoil, high accuracy. It's a good, good little carbine. So I would say overall, if you want to try it and you love it, that is totally your decision to make. But for me, I would say I'm going to stray away from the M4 for this particular purpose and stick to something like the AK-5 or the SG-553. Thanks for watching guys, I'm Level Up here at On Point Tactical, and I hope to see you guys on the battlefield.